see all that shit. All that shit about Nanking. You know, the Japanese really did commit genocide in Nanking. You know, killing women, children, fucking everybody there. Hey, it's been a while, but back with a review. Hello, everybody. Today, we're reviewing 98, 12, 28, otherwise known as Farewell to a Man, which is the last album, large quotations, from popular 1990s, 1989 to... 1990s dub reggae psychedelic dream pop band shibuya k as well fishman's last album was a live album their last live performance it's called farewell to a man mostly because it was supposed to be the last official live album live performance with the full band as their basis was gonna leave afterwards it's kind of cemented itself in internet music history though because lead singer shinji sato unfortunately passed away only three months after live performance making it sort of kind of his farewell as as well as the basis Originally, that wasn't supposed to be the case. However, that's just kind of how things turned out. Now, for the backstory out of the way, how's the music? Well, the music's pretty fucking good. It's pretty good. It's a long album. It's like almost two hours, so you gotta have some time to spare. But they play songs from their entire discography from start to finish that are reimagined, and there's a strong sense of mournfulness and lots of strong emotions going through the whole album. Shinji Sato, understandably, was probably going through it during that time. But we got great stuff. I love the intro, Oh Slime, where we're introduced to all of the members playing in the live performance, ending with Shinji Sato, and then leading into Night Cruising. It's a rendition, because everything is a, is a rendition. As they are live performances, but they're redone the songs to the point where they're completely completely new and revamped and it's just so good there's so much emotion there's so much passion and it's so much musical talent and you don't have to know instruments or really anything about music because god knows i fucking don't to appreciate that and though it's in a different language i think even if you don't understand japanese which i don't I'm not gonna act here like i do you're able to appreciate it just as much and of course i can't talk about the album without talking about the biggest thing about the album which is for a 41 minute long version of long season i had a video about long season i've already talked about my opinion on that it has changed since then it's been a while but long season for those who don't know is a album slash song by fishman's that came out about a year or two i can't recall prior to this album this live album that is and it's pretty good 35 minutes long a single track that makes up the entire album and a lot of motifs that we see in the beginning that end up at the end and a lot of moving parts that build up into a great final part and that's what we have here on long season live too but even better even better first off they were the drum solo section that drops everything which is honestly the worst part of the long season in my opinion and we drop the part where it sounds like somebody's taking fat shit and it sounds more aquatic or crystally and of course we have the most important part that fucking piano or keyboard line it's playing constantly throughout almost everything there's only one break and then that break it leads into the last eight minutes of the song in my opinion we had a violin part we had a trum trombone i don't know it's one of those air shit when we add more of these elements that build the whole song it means that our outro that combines them all together it'll be even more grand we have more shit to it. and that's what makes it so good the live version of long season is we have all these elements and then they come together they come together and it works perfectly and it is fucking amazing it's an amazing song through and through and i'm never bored listening to it i'm never bored listening to the entire album obviously long season is going to be a pretty big outlier and obviously much better than a lot of the other shit and if you go on roam that's the only thing to talk about the rest of the album is good it's good i think the intro is great i think long season's a perfect outro i love all the tracks i think they improve upon every single track in this live session and just make it way better so i'm feeling probably a 10 10 a 9 or a 10 i'm not gonna say whether or not as music changes but just for all the shit going on in this for how good long season is in this version kind of hard not to fuck with it so that's my thoughts as you can see i'm recording this video in my fucking closet because that's the only soundproof sort of area i have available for use it is hot as fuck in here but you know i do what i do for the music you feel me future videos planned honestly i'm coming back with more reviews coming back trying to do better reviews i won't say how often i'll do it hopefully more since we're not doing anything right now but i want the quality to be better uh, i don't mean quality by like actual video quality since i don't have the uh, materials for that but just quality in terms of performance and how much effort is put in